Hello and welcome back. Uh, when last we left off, we just opened up uh, the boat route to the outside here. And uh, by getting some nitro powder, opened up some chests. One of the chests had the nitro powder, and oh my gosh, there's some shadows. Oh, this is definitely... Um, you... Pyra. Oh boy. He's blind. Uh-oh. Okay, so item shop. Oh, yeah, so we got the nitro powder, we made it to the outside, and we are going to go see the vampire. Cavern of the Earth is to the south of Melmond on a peninsula called Devil's Tail. Uh, it used to be closer... Used to be the closer you got to the cave, the more fertile the salt. Now it's a barren waste. Okay. So apparently there's no item shop there. So... Uh, how many eye drops do we have? We have one. Oh, but it doesn't look like it lasts past battle, so... Meh? Okay. So, I'm not too concerned if it doesn't last past battle. I'm thinking... Let's go and kill the... I could see that, Devil's Tail. Sure, sure. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, lesser tigers. Eh, they're okay. You shall not pass. Whatever, Gandalf. Hmm. All right. Do, 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 do. That's some pretty catchy music. <clears throat> All right. Oh no. Okay. So keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Cool. All right. Uh, ooh, is this a cave? This is a cave. Hyenadon and ogres. All right. Let's see, what D&D story shall we talk about? I can talk about the time my entire party almost died once. Oh no. Ambushed. Ooh. Um, so we were, we were playing a campaign once and it was this like air pirate campaign, basically the elemental plane of air merged with the material plane, which is your home plane. And the entire planet just started breaking apart and floating. Mm. 
we and so people started um so whole towns whole continents and not typically continents uh, most of the places were little little islands um but fairly large islands small islands all sorts of stuff were just floating it was basically floating archipelagos so we um the humans there the, the humanoids humans elves whatever uh found a way that they could just use the ships um use the the fact that some of them floated to, if you put them in a boat you could make the boat float too and so you had floating airships which was really neat well we were pirates evil pirates at that um because that's what that's the kind of concept that we liked was uh was if you're gonna be a pirate you got to do the uh the pillaging and the plundering and all that so my wife played a very evil paladin and my friend Bill, Red Mage named, um, he played just a straight fighter. And they would constantly, constantly uh, get into fighting matches uh, to see who could have the higher kill count for battle. And um, we boarded one boat. And uh, we boarded one boat, and as usual, they split up. And this was their usual thing. They'd split up and go kill off everything in sight. Well, unfortunately, the captain of the ship was a little tougher than, uh, than we were expecting. And he literally downed one of our characters I want to say Bill first um, me as the healer couldn't get to him in time because I was busy with uh, my wife healing her making sure she didn't go down and kind of doing my own thing about wading into combat because that's who I was that's how I make my clerics and and so seeing that, uh, my wife's character went after the captain, seeing as he was a strong thing. So she fought her way to the captain, and she died to him too. Well, the thief and I look at each other from across the boat, and we're like, screw this, and both of us jumped off the side of the boat. Both me and him had wings. We were flying based creatures, so we were able to just fly away. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't a complete party wipe, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> We eventually revisited that campaign um, later on. We were actually made it to uh, like 16th level. Yeah, 16th level. Um, before some uh, angels came and uh, decided to fight us, and they kind of killed us. We did not survive them. So, that was unfortunate. Uh, they kind of sneak attacked us. And, and that was how we died eventually in that campaign. But we had a lot of interesting adventures on that one. Yeah, the concept was really neat. I really enjoyed it. I 
one tactic we had was to... Because you could destroy the float stones and the uh, ships. Why do you have such crappy health, Taiho? Troll. Oof. That troll hurt. Uh, let's see. Dead. Cool. Maybe I should grind some levels off screen. Earth elemental? Okay, or you can just be really weak and die. Another shield, gold, more gold. Uh... We'll start using some low level spells to attack instead of our staff. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> out of the way. Oh good. One of the trolls fled. Oh good. They're both dead. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of uh, doors down here. Oh, but this is the last one. So... Unless the way down is... In one of these doors, then... This should be the last floor. Alright. You know what I can do, though? We can go in here. Uh, nope. Uh, no. Chest, chest. No, not a way down. Chest. I'm guessing that's it right there. So I need to go in there. You're just a chest. You're a chest. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Pisco Demons. We've fought those before. More Pisco Demons.
down. I missed some white mage. White mage had better healing. Yeah, notice that most of these are undead. Undead. I think these are undead. Considered undead. Alright. Oh. Um. Alright. Dead. Gold needle, so I can't be turned to stone. Perfect. Oh boy, cockatrices. Those would be the things that would turn me to stone. All right, so over, up and around, and down. Okay, I gotta heal the one thief. Okay, so items. I am definitely running low on potions. You. Ooh, lots of gold. Lots of gill. Call the last ones. It just occurred to me that I want to say that in this one, and even in a couple of the later ones, your fire, your elemental magics went up an extra level. So, because there's fire one, fire two, fire three, but there's also a fire four, I want to say, in this. Um. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to kill that one up top. That would have been unfortunate. Alright. Cure. Cure. Okay. So, but fire one, fire two, fire three is cure, cura, curaga. Wait. Fire, fire, fireaga. I'm pretty sure you knew what I meant. Oh, good. These are melee ones. So, I wonder what they're gonna call. Ugh. Oh, good. Wars finally. Taiho! You are just the worst. Why? Okay, so. Oh, good. Oh, there's the vampire. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. Eh. Let's take a minute to appreciate this music.
That is some good music. Um, let's go with sl I have a feeling that... Fyraga! Well, Fyraga you. Nope, that's a miss. Okay. Ooh, that was pretty. You. Seriously. Earthor? Oh, Star Ruby. Ooh, I can give that to the giant now. I'm a little disappointed in that vampire. <laughs> he died to a, two attacks and a Fyraga. Stone slab is set in the floor. Evil force seems to emanate from within. Okay, well, let's... Oh, you couldn't have paralyzed Black Mage instead. Alright, out we go. Um, I should have both a Kiraga spell and a Cura spell too left. I have a couple of potions. Stupid place. Uh, oh my gosh, so many doggos. Oh no. Good. Kill him off. Perfect. Alright. Uh, I believe I have enough antidotes. Okay. Uh, I've already taken that. It was the first floor I didn't really grab anything on. Okay, yep. End of here, up and over. Alright. Keep 
going. Um, yes, let's use my last cure, Kira, to heal you. Oh, stop attacking him. All right. Well, I guess you get a Kiraga. Magic. You know, if one of the fighters was instead, or if one of the thieves was instead a uh, fighter, I would have 8-bit theater. They also didn't have a white mage. That's amazing. One shy of a fifth theater, huh? <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's a door up there, door there, and the guy's over there. So three doors I could investigate, or I could just hightail it out of here. tail it out of here okay I think that's where I'm gonna call it for now uh, we'll use a tent I got plenty of cottages as well so I can always use those all right we will save it and we will continue in the next episode I hope everybody's having a great rest of your day and stay safe out there bye